would never think that that was not a big deal to me. Don't oh, ever he's evil. That. Well, uh, I'm oh, just looking do for evidence. Oh, my God. And oh my God, normally so we're known by our fruits, and there have been no indications that it was a big deal because your department has still not been forthcoming in producing the documents that were the subject of the contempt. You guys realize we're in a literal movie, but it's not Captain America where it's fantasy. We're in a movie with the equivalent of Hydra in control. And of course, they want to shut down the free society, take out their opposition, because then they think they've got a thousand year rule for them and their compadres. Literal megalomania. Now, let's go to the essence of victory. The Black Arrow, the Windlands against Smog. If this spirit grows, Representative Blake Fine Farenhold of saying you're a criminal because he is a criminal. See, when they commit mass criminal acts in the open, if you don't end up prosecuting them or bare minimum making them resign, it sets the precedent. Holder and all of them are a wedge. When they get on TV and say your kids belong to us, we're going to take your guns, it's meant to freak you out and get you ready for it. It's meant to normalize it. They're meant to, to get you ready. He is the vanguard. He is a shock troop. You either deal with him politically or they win. They know what they're doing. Let's go to Representative Blake Farenhold, who I guarantee you they're going to try to come after. I'm yeah. committed uh, to, uh, to, to maintaining the constitutional balance of power and the authority that this branch, this legislative branch has. And I just uh, don't think it's uh, appropriate, uh, Mr. Holder, be here if an American citizen had not complied with one of the Justice Department subpoenas uh, they would be in jail, not sitting here in front of testifying. But I realize there are questions to be asked, and I'll yield the remainder of my time to Mr. Gowdy. That congressman is scared when he says that. And he should be. Holder has the power. Holder looked at Gomer, pointed his finger at him, and, 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 and got away from the fake nice guy act. And, and, and literally, and you can see Gomer. And, and look, Gomer's tough. Gomer knows he's got a literal dragon demon sitting in front of him with untold blood of uh, people on its hands who will do anything. What do you do in the face of that? You draw your sword and you charge politically. And when they set off a new Oklahoma City, our people will be there this time and we'll have the video and we'll blow your operation like we did the Boston bombing fiasco. And no amount of you know paramilitary guys you get dressed up in SWAT team outfits running around who don't even know what planet they're on is gonna save your operation. It's the thinkers in this world that count. You need to understand that. This is history happening. So you're going to see more and more of this, folks. And as things get worse and worse, they cannot allow freedom on the Internet. They cannot allow free speech for their system to go through. They have to exterminate the light. They have to exterminate the liberty. They have to exterminate the freedom because they can't exist in a world that has that. That's why they're coming for you. You think you're just going to sit out of the game? I'm going to skip this network break. You think you're going to sit out of the game? You think you're just going to sit on the sidelines? That's the most dangerous place to be. You want to be in the arena, full charge, 110% going at it. Commit to it. Let the fear pass through you, and you're done. We're done. We're committed. You want to create an Alamo in Nevada? Do it. You want to create an Alamo right here in Austin? Do it. Want to strike me down? Do it. You want to set me up? Do it. I'm not scared. Understand, I don't lose when you do it. I win. And I'll be quite frank with you. It's not the kind of victory I want. My flesh does not want it. My spirit's willing, though. And my spirit runs my body. It's in control, and you can't have it. You can't get at it. It doesn't belong to you. And I see you. I know you. And I will not stand here while you run amok amongst the innocent. The giant that is human liberty and compassion and creativity and honor is rising to meet the Leviathan threat of evil. Sir Isaac Newton. For every action, there's an opposite, an equal reaction, or equal and opposite reaction. 
You are that reaction. You are what God formed you to be in your womb of your mother. Predestined if you took it in your hands, the free will to become predestined. That gift is already there if you take it in your hands. Or do you take the predestined will of your father, the devil, That's a big question. Holder tried to rise up and intimidate people, but you can see the fear in his eyes. The fear of knowing that there is no stopping liberty. There is no stopping justice. There is no stopping humanity's life force. If we take the destiny God has offered us in free will, and say, we want to be good, we want to be honorable, we want to be loving, we want to be strong, we want to be true blue, we want to be real. We want a society based on productivity and truth, not one on lies. I'm going to Paul Watson. But you talk about productivity and lies, and we're going to be getting into it coming up in the next hour with the farmer, the rancher. There's an article out today about record high beef prices, the highest they've ever been. And there's nothing in the article, we'll put it up on screen, about why record beef prices or why people aren't producing beef. Because they bought up and used the government to shut down all the small good meat packing facilities, almost all of them. The LA Times reports. They shut them down and only allow big agribusiness that radiates it and sprays liquid viruses on it to, quote, kill the bacteria. You can look that up, ABC News. They set up a deal with the meat packers. There's not real cattle auctions anymore. If they are, they're very rare. My family's been in the cattle business forever, and people just got out of it. I know major ranchers, some of the biggest in Texas, and they've sold their herds last year. They got out of the business. And you know why they did? Because everything was actuaried where you couldn't make a profit anymore. But record gouging and prices for the people, that's a rigged economy. Everything they did with taxes and regulations on the ranchers themselves and then on what they could sell. They get record low when you sell the cow under record regulations and then the meat packers and the distributors give you the highest prices ever paid in this country. We can't even produce enough beef for our country and import about a third of it now when we could supply the world with beef in 1957. We could supply the world with beef. And now we can't supply half our country with it. That's the bondage of the fraud, Eric Holder-style world. The poverty of living under mafia trash. And no one knows why, because no one knows the technicals. But don't worry, the globalists have got special deals with Brazil to bring in the beef. Now... And they'll waive the regulations that are on American producers. See, it's all set up where you can't compete, you can't survive, roll over, go on welfare, and die. <clears throat> and if you try to run your cattle on public land that we've been doing for hundreds of years, well, here come 250 armed SWAT team members with drones and armored vehicles swearing they're going to kill you. That's the land of the free, home of the brave. Paul Watson joins us. Paul, I wanted to get you on to get your take on this. But I know we've been saying they're going to launch a cybersecurity attack to get cybersecurity passed. They've already put it in place. General Alexander and Clapper, Kurt Nemo wrote three years ago, came out and both reported that, oh, in their own Pentagon briefings, we'll launch false flag attacks to get this passed. Came out in the BBC two weeks ago that the British government's been launching false flags to bring in Internet control. Uh, we know Stuxnet was launched by the U.S. and Israel, which they then used to try to pass cybersecurity, an industrial virus industrial uh, reactor systems and other programs. And
And now we have just something so mega massive, I don't know what to say. Major bug called Heartbleed exposes internet data. Almost every internet transaction system and the algorithm code used to encrypt it, the keys to it, which again, the NSA developed all this or bought it. Now they're the main suspects because they stand to gain from it. They're now releasing the keys. They'll come out with a patch that's the new system that's their surveillance grid. That's the prime projection. You can, it's speculation by me with all the dots, but guaranteed that's it. I mean, I know that's it. And my gut says it, it's never been wrong. But you can see all the pieces right on time. It's an attack on the internet itself. Heartbleed bug threatens web traffic. Financial Times of London, they say it's a threat to the internet itself. Heartbleed bug undoes web encryption, reveals Yahoo passwords. This is a mega crisis in banking just unfolding. A massive security bug, open SSL, could affect a huge chunk of the internet. It's already happening. Major governments like Canada are announcing they're suspending online transactions in, in government, in taxes. I mean, this is a mega crisis. I believe this is staged to get cybersecurity worldwide that's lined up to pass everywhere, to end web freedom as we know it, to bring in total surveillance. The patch will be the new mega jack into all systems, because if you have the encryption that's used system-wide, you have the internet. Paul Watson, do you agree with that analysis? Can we get writers to do a prime projection report? Well, what I find amazing about it, Alex, is the fact that this has been going on for two years, and they've only just announced it. It's a vulnerability in the open SSL system, which is where you put in a password. But they've now published website. how to do it is the point. The keys have now been leaked. Yeah, they were, they were leaked two days ago when people were doing it. And Yahoo Mail has been completely compromised. They're talking about at least 500,000 major websites. The encryption keys have been totally exposed. It's the system where you put in your password. One server sends it to another server. Those encryption keys that are supposedly protecting that information have been exposed and vulnerable for two years. So this is, they're calling it an 11 out of 10 on the scale of internet crises. So this yeah, they're announcing it. So hackers will then uh, copycat and exploit it to create a uh, organic triggered false flag, kind of like Arab Spring. Go ahead. Yeah, well, they're, they're only patching up the vulnerabilities now. So there are still a, a ton of websites open to this, which is why the experts are now telling everybody to change all their passwords immediately. And even that might not help because those password changes could then be intercepted as well. So the, the projection that it could be some kind of NSA false flag, I mean, I would imagine they were in on it from the start, from two years ago. And we, we know that Greenwald recently said, there are major revelations coming up from the Snowden documents bigger than anything we've seen before. So I wonder if it's related to this in any way. But Well, the way to write the articles uh, is you have them launching all these false flags before. And now they're trying to pass cybersecurity again. It's perfect timing. What does well, your gut tell you, Watson? Well, I don't need my gut. I just look at the, the past four years. Stuxnet in 2010. Well, uh, you predicted on September 27, 2010, that it was a false flag U.S. and Israel. For months afterwards, we were called conspiracy theorists. And then a few months later, it was admitted that, yes, it was launched by the U.S. I would guess Israel. Microsoft launched this. Stay there. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com